this first one here. Okay, we have a 90 degree angle here, a side X 56, and then an angle that measures 37 degrees. Okay, is this a forward or a backwards problem? Hopefully you said forward because we have the angle. When you have the angle, it's a forward problem. Okay, which two sides are we dealing with? I always like to label my opposite first, then my adjacent leg, and then my hypotenuse. So I'm not using hypotenuse on this one, so I'm using opposite adjacent. Which one is opposite adjacent? Tangent. So I'm gonna take the tangent of the angle, and the angle's given, 37 degrees is equal to the ratio of opposite over adjacent. So my X is on top, because it's opposite, and adjacent is on the bottom because it's given. Okay, now let's talk about how, whoops, slide this over, there we go, so you guys can see it. Now we got, we've got to solve it. Okay, so if you remember, when we're working forward, we actually have to change that tangent 37. Uh, well, let's stick a one under it first, and then we're gonna do a cross product. So let's change that tangent of 37 to a decimal. So I'm going to just go forward and take the tangent of 37 degrees and I'll close my bracket and I get 0.7536. So 0.7536 all over 1 and now I'm going to work my cross product. So when the variable's on top, it's a little easier because x times 1 is just x. And then 0 0.7536 times 56 is 41.2. So I'm going to get 40, or 42.2, excuse me, 42.2, and that's how long this side is over here. And there you go. And that's how you find that missing side. Okay?